This will be the meta offensive playbook in Madden 24. Going to go ahead and make that prediction. This is based off speculation that uh, a lot of the community has been saying about the beta with playbooks. If nothing changes from a playbook perspective, and typically uh, playbooks only change in a minor way, the meta playbook is going to be Cincinnati, and it's because of this tight slots formation. And I want to quickly talk about why Cincinnati is just a really, really good playbook. A lot of people ran it in Madden 23. A lot of people ran it in Madden 22. People were even running this, I think, back in Madden 20. I don't know if it was in Cincinnati. I think it was in uh, the Raiders playbook back in Madden 20. But tight slots epic week is such a good formation, such a powerful formation. There's been nerfs to tight offset tight in. I think there's um, it's not as good as it was last year. Tight flex uh, seems to be potential runner for maybe the best offense in the game uh, early on in Madden 24 beta. And then, of course, bunch. Now, there's two different types of bunch. There's bunch offset and there's bunch uh, and there's regular gun bunch. Now, while those formations look very similar uh, and they function, have a lot of similar concepts and plays, they're not exactly one and one of the same. And so I think you're going to want to have bunch offset um, in Madden 24. It's kind of, I don't remember when bunch offset was added. I think it was Madden 21. And bunch offset has been probably the better version of the bunch formations uh, for the better part of the last couple of years, especially on next gen. So you have bunch offset. You have a couple really good plays from here. Um, there's obviously a ton of good plays from bunch. We know that. Uh, but the, you also have this bunch halfback strong. The beauty of this bunch halfback strong is it has the one thing that the bunch offset doesn't have. And that is really good post routes. It has really good post routes from the solo wide receiver. It has deep posts, sharp cutting posts, uh, really, really, really good post routes. And then if you come over here to tight way off, What's really cool about this formation, I think this formation you're going to see a lot more people utilize in Madden 24 uh, because it is it is a almost like a little bit more of a spaced out tight slots in a way. Um, it's a little bit different, but a lot of the similar concepts. You have uh, this play flood drive, really good post route on the left side. You have a really good uh, crossing route in this PA go slot cross. It also has that little wheel route right there. Switch wide receiver drag, very underrated play. Yeah. You have a quarter route. You also have a nice S post. Um, what you're looking for in Madden year over year is you're trying to find the best routes. And then if you can find the best routes and the best um, pass protection formulas or just alignment, that's really helpful. And I think Cincinnati gives you a lot of those things. Um, last thing I want to talk about, and then we'll get into tight slots a little bit, um, is this deuce close. Uh, so the deuce close out of Cincinnati is actually really good. And uh, you have this play here, Bengals Flood which is a really good play, uh, has the corner route, has the, our stock trail route, and then also has um, the, the drag. So really it's already set up for you. And then you also have um, the really good run plays. So you have uh, stretch, you have halfback wham, and then you also, if you wanna put this in your audibles, you could have this play, um, P boot slide's good, but you can also have this play people's dig. These four plays together, and then you can come out in whatever you want, um, makes this a really good formation. Because you also have wing flex close, which is one of the best under center formations over the last several years. It's been one of the best formations as long as I've been playing. And then you also have uh, deuce close and single back ace with a, a lot of good run plays. So it's got that under center stuff too, uh, to kind of complete out the formation or the playbook. And then you also have some pretty decent concepts uh, from the, the two back. So well, what makes tight slots so special? It's really these four plays right here, uh, flood, post wheel drag, four verticals, and mesh spot. These four plays are why this offense is going to be the number one offense in Madden 24. Um, and it's because they have, if you just look at them from a fundamental perspective, they have everything you need, okay? So a couple things they have. So the first thing they have is they have powerful routes. They have the sharp cutting post routes that beat man-to-man -man coverage out of post wheel drag, mesh spot. They also have three different types of post routes. And I'll show you that on the field here. So what you'll notice is if I go to post wheel drag, you're gonna see this post route uh, to Randy Moss. If I just get everybody out of the way here, you're gonna notice that that post route on that side is going to basically just look like a, essentially like a post route from like deep attack and bunch or pat sale. That's kind of what the post route is. 
And this post route specifically does a really good job at attacking man coverage deep down the field. So you'll see right here, um, if I run man coverage, I can cut this off before it gets to the middle third, but it will also continue to run itself open, especially from a compression alignment to be able to get over the top of any zone drops. And that's another thing that's really good about this formation. Let's say you want to get over some zone drops. You have a play like um, mesh spot and mesh spot this post route it is the same it's very similar uh to the post route that is in curl flat out of trip side in and so if you just put a streak there and then honestly you can do whatever you want just something simple like this really effective what you're going to be able to do is if you wait on this this post route there's not a zone in this game that will guard it if you have a clear out and you can ag it so that you can avoid a ko so you have that kind of post route and then the last the other style post route that you have that's actually super underrated um, is the post route from Flood. And this is the bomb post route. This, this post route bombs coverages. Uh, so you'll see right here, the play Flood, um, this has the skinny post. And so if I wanted to maybe do something, let's say I wanna do something like this, what you'll see is this, this post play, this post route will just nuke zone. As you can see right there, just gets over the top of cover three because it's got that deep, sharp cutting angle. This also does a really good job, uh, specifically in Madden 23, at being able to beat main coverage um, because he's gonna break late. So if he has route tech, you'll see right here, able to get over the top and burn the main coverage. So you have the, the deep post, the sharp post, you also have kind of the, and then you have the man beating post. Now, if you have Hot Route Master, it makes it even better because what you can also do with this is you can utilize, let's say you want to, um, we saw this a lot this year, this setup at a mesh spot. Now we have the Hot Route Master of the Slot Apprentice Post where this post route's gonna cut really sharply and be able to get space against man to man. You can also do that uh, with the play like four verticals. Now, what makes four verticals so good, there's several things, but one of the things that makes four verticals so good is the fact that you have those wheel routes and those wheel routes um, have been really good routes uh, for the last several years. And what you can do with these wheel routes is you can actually kind of like, even in Madden 20, uh, even in Madden 23, you can kind of aggressive catch these wheel routes against main coverage. They're always gonna be good against zone. Wheel routes are always good because they get into the seam area of the field. It's a very um, difficult area for zone to guard. So you'll see here against zone, I'm just gonna wait for him to cut inside the zone. I'm gonna cut it off before it gets to the, to the, um, the zone defender. And then you're gonna see, this is one of the best concepts year over year at being able to attack zone coverage. So you see here again, boom, got it. And you see I'm able to catch that. So you have a built-in zone beater with the four verticals play. Um, there's so much you can do with this offense. The four verticals play, what's also really cool is we can run a setup like this, really effective. So you're still utilizing a kind of a shallow cross concept, but for man coverage, but then you have the vertical wheel routes that are also really good as like snap throw flat routes. So um, let's say for example, you know they're gonna send some heavy pressure, they bring up the press coverage. Um, this is something that's really popular in Madden 23. You can go to something like this where you can quick throw these wheels as they, they're basically just these really good flat routes um, and that, that turn into wheel routes. There was a really good play, I think it was Madden 12, or no, 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 it was Madden uh, 23. And this was the basic idea. Um, it was called Pats Will Drag. The beauty of this is, let's say there's a purple zone on the field. If there's a purple zone on the field, the purple zone always cr matches up to that wheel and it'll leaves the drag underneath. So you could literally run a play like this four verticals right here. If you just make the reads, it's really hard to, to guard this play right here. You have two flat routes on both sides. And then if it's man coverage, you have these crossers over the middle of the field. Now, if wheel routes be man coverage next year, it makes this play even more powerful. But again, and then the last thing about this is the play flood, which we haven't even gotten to yet. This is the best play in Madden 23 because this corner route is the most consistent man beating route in the game. What makes tight slots really special, in my opinion, is the alignment of the formation. I think that's everything. And what you'll notice, it, it has the best routes in the game, some of the best routes in the game, but it also has the best alignment in the game. So what you'll see right here on the left side is this corner never, almost never, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen it get pressed. Um, they just don't press this route, and it's because of the alignment of the formation. So you have an unbumpable tight end, you have an unbumpable slot receiver, and you also have an unbumpable running back. So you can build around all of those things. 
and it just makes his play, it makes his formation really hard to stop. You can run a concept like this. It's one of my personal favorite plays in the game to be able to attack man coverage because the crossers just destroy man. This offense is really, really, really powerful. It's going to be hard to find an offense better than this in Madden 24. It's already hard to find an offense better than this in Madden 23 and Madden 22. This offense is here to stay. And the reason why is because it comes equipped with the four best plays um, in terms of how they actually work together. All of these plays work well together. They work off of one another. And that's truly what makes this so good. Um, you can even run a setup like this and have this, uh, this, this pose be a potential one play touchdown. Of course, I say that I get bumped, but you can have that post drop be a potential one play touchdown against pretty much any coverage. The last little tip uh, for this formation that I think is super underrated, don't be afraid to motion out players. So something like this to take advantage against like a better coverage. So like, let's say it's like cover four, or cover two. You could do something like this motion out and of course almost throw a pick or you could, um, you know, you, you can hit these posts. So that's what makes this formation so powerful. Um, it can literally bomb every coverage instantly in madden 23 from what i've heard um i don't think it's going to be a big deal to try to learn how to bomb coverages i think there's going to be several ways to bomb coverages but what makes this thing so reliable is it's it's super consistent the routes always beat man the zone beaters are there you have a um the other thing i didn't even get into is you have the best pass protection you have a running back on one side and you have a tight end on another side so you can literally you're coming equipped with being able to pick up pretty much every single blitz in the game that could be possible. This formation is really good. It's going to be really good next year. Start learning it. If you want to get my entire ebook on this, join the Patreon. 10 bucks gets you access to everything, including all of our stuff out of the Bengals playbook.